Hey guys, I'm Dubai Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about iOS 13.4. Today I want to give you my follow up, my weekly follow up, as I usually like to do, where I share with you guys additional thoughts on how the software has been performing and any additional changes that I may come across after using the software. Now, before we do get to iOS 13.4, I'm also going to be talking about my YouTube community poll where you guys also have an input on how the software is working for you. And I want to point out for those jailbreakers out there, there's great news. Ponta owned and the Uncover Jailbreak team will soon be releasing a jailbreak for 8.13, 8.12 and below. So pretty much every device that runs iOS 13 will soon be receiving a jailbreak for iOS 13.3. Just to make it simple, everyone should be on iOS 13.3. If you want to jailbreak, especially the newer devices, iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max, iPhone XR, iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, all the newer devices, and also the older devices. There it is. They already have Cydia installed on a13 devices now is to get tweaks running and it's really amazing to see a jailbreak uh, that will soon be released for the latest iOS 13.3 which by the way is still being signed so if you want to get on that jailbreak I'd recommend you restore directly to iOS 13.3 right now before the time and the window expires now I also want to talk about iOS 13.4 beta 2 when we can expect that software now the first thing I want to mention in regards to release dates for the next beta it's going to be a bit tricky to determine this one because it depends if Apple releases uh, this week then we're on a weekly release cycle for beta so if Apple decides to release this week we should see the next beta on the 11th so pretty much tomorrow if you're watching this video on Monday the 10th of February now if Apple does not release on the 11th or 12th Apple could be getting two weeks release cycle and then we'll see it on the 17th but I'm pretty confident that we'll see the next beta on the 11th but let's go ahead and talk about the software itself how it's been performing for me now we have a bunch of new features and changes from iCloud folder sharing from new Memoji stickers to new toggles we also have new rearranged settings as well and additional settings in the mail application which is something that I want to talk about because the mail application has been horrible for me not to mention that the new update removed the iCloud email from my iPhone entirely so yeah there's been many issues the emails application continues to be plagued with issues now in regards to battery we can't really complain in regards to battery battery has been really good on the latest 13.4 actually i've been getting all day battery life has been performing very very well especially with the of course the battery pack which i don't recommend this battery pack because i've gotten a lot of battery health issues with the latest battery pack three percent drop and i think it's because the battery is always charging this iphone but i've heard that many of you guys have also seen the actual battery health percentage drop on your devices with ios 13.3 and 13.3.1 so if you're running the latest beta have you seen this on 13.4 let me know in the comment down below let's head on over to youtube this is where you guys also have an input let's go ahead on over to the youtube community poll where i ask you guys how is ios 13.4 beta 1 working for you now we have approximately 3900 votes here and a 19 percent is having a great experience we have okay but still some bugs at a seven percent a bad experience, 3%. I would like to know your thoughts in the comments. If you voted that you're having a bad experience, you can leave a comment on these YouTube community polls. These are posted weekly here on my YouTube channel, so you can check back every time. I also post these on Twitter, so you can link right back to this YouTube community poll. And the biggest percentage, which I'm happy about, 71% is not running the latest 13.4 beta. Now, the most popular comment here, beta 1 ain't showing up for me, Chief. Though I'm assuming those of you that are not seeing the latest beta for 13.4 are running the public beta program now if you're in the public beta program apple has yet to deliver the public beta for 13.4 so i did comment back on that just letting you guys know notification bug yes still somewhat present on the latest 13.4 and the comments continue most of you guys are still running 13.3 or 13.3.1 so that's a good thing now here's another comment that expresses how the battery drain and the battery health issues continue when you update your iphone so if you see a decrease on battery health which i was just talking about and you see battery performance issues especially on the iphone 7 
then yeah, you're not alone. And again, guys, you can come back to these YouTube community polls. You can read some of these comments and answer questions back and forth with each other. And that way you can find out if some of the issues that you're coming across, other users are experiencing. So, so far, the beta hasn't been great, hasn't been very, very good as I was hoping. So just wanted to give you guys a quickly weekly update. I hope you guys enjoy the video. See you real soon. Peace.